Hello everyone, this is Sears Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Yan Bai Hu campaign. This is episode 15. We pick it up from turn 89 in the spring season of 212. So, uh, right off the bat, uh, we have a few things to take care of. Sun Tzu really messed up our plan about killing off more Yellow Turbans, because now we don't know where they went. They were in the river, but now they could be in a lot of places. And I can't end the contract, means we're stuck with it for a while. Because I don't see any other Yellow Turban territories on the map. Which means there's just this one army going around, and we can't find it. Hmm. We'll pull this army back. Now, I think I messed up last time. I tried to swap a crossbowman for a crossbowman, but we can actually recruit crossbowmen. So we're actually going to spam crossbowmen on him. Administrator level up. I don't actually think there's any industry income in Nanhai, so that's not going to be relevant. Uh, actually, nothing's relevant because expertise is not relevant either. So we, I mean, the resolve was relevant. We got it. Mm. Night battle is nice. Fire arrow is nice. I think we we'll just pick this up. All right. So that army's kind of moved. We could march them. Actually, we should do this. Heal them up faster. Um. Hop back to our main army here. They killed off the two yellow turbans. So there shouldn't be any more yellow turbans nearby. So their job now is just to march over and join the war against the kingdom of Xun. We're gonna just go down here. Not really worried about running into anyone. They had an army here, but it kind of disappeared on us. All right. They're also going to go on march. We're going to bypass the town and we're going to go for the iron mine. If they want to attack the towns, it's all theirs. We don't need it. We have a reform to pick up. Once again, we come to the difficult question of what is really worth it for us. Income from all sources. Assignment. House of Shi. Okay, that catched my eye right away, so we're gonna go for that. Alright, so so. One of our spies got promoted to government. Ah, uh, Gongsun Xun. We thought we requested for a spy job. Uh, not spy, um, a military job, but instead we got a government job. Alright, so the spies took our settlement here. I didn't want to flip them, but it feels like. This is what we should do, is we should just flip them. Because we lost that army. Right, so now we can just... We can just extract them. But can we can we extract them as reinforcement? Or do we have to actually straight up extract them? Wait, why is she still here? I thought I extracted her. Did she not have enough points to be extracted? Huh. I don't actually want to fight the fishing port battle. But I also don't want to take medium casualty. But I feel like if we fight it with this army, we're going to take medium casualty. She should have turned to us. But instead, we killed her. One spy returned. One spy killed. We recruited a new officer. A lot of random events. Alright, we got the strategist back. So he brings back his retinue of mounted crossbowmen, two Furies of Beihai. So that's definitely why we want him. Um, also has Reach. This is the one that we got. It's a rogue. It's a bandit character. So all the ones we 
spawn should be bandits. So I mean, so in this sense, I think all our kids will be bandits. All the wives we get are bandits. Now we're gonna pull them out. Heal up. It's so easy to heal with that ability. Right, we have a negative factor on this unit because population or something. There's something working against us, but we're still hitting 50 because we're way over. They converted it back. We converted it right back. There we go. Um, they still have a bunch of army coming. But now we have two empty spy slots. I don't really care about this faction. They only have two commanderies. Maybe three counties? One and a half commandery. I feel like we can just... Oh, Jiang Qing. This is the one we wanted. He's a bandit as well. So there we go. Liu Bei. Anyone good? Ah, so excited for someone good. But nope. Uh, but we will still hire him. Just for a set of eyes in his faction. Plus four. Liu Bei is not very good against counter spying. Hmm? Let's see. Discredit some characters. Everyone loves him. Except for him. Because of a very high desire for higher office. This is a yellow turban character they recruited, so that's why there's no face. Lady Mi is heir. Zhang Liao is in the faction. Interesting. Guan Yu is gone. Is Guan Yu dead? Guan Yu might be dead. That's a little sad. He's in the army. We're going to let him save us some points so that we can extract him when the time comes. We can do a lot of things here. Is there a recent event minus 10? No, it's timed out. So we can do it again just to mess with his faction. Give me someone who's willing. Nobody? Someone. There we go. Plus 10 plus 7. Okay. Uh, we might not have enough points for that, but we should have enough for this. Who's ready angry at you? Man, you have a lot of characters. This could be either a yellow turban or it can actually be... It, I think it's... A yellow turban issue. It could also be a mercenary. No, but then it wouldn't be a court. If it's a mercenary captain, it should be in the army. So it's probably just a guarantee to be a yellow turban. He's been ready hit with night. Okay. Shi Huan. There we go. All right. So we did all our spying stuff. We have half a million in the bank. Um, we could just spawn more armies. But I kind of want Li Bu to solo this. This is his solo revenge tour. I don't want him to get him any help. If anything, I need help to keep an eye out on Sun Ce, right? Sun Ce's army, Zhou Yu's army. This is Zhang Hong's army, Chen Pu's army. I really want to get into a mercenary contract with them, but now it seems like it's not possible, so... Tough luck. Um, I believe all the buildings are fine. I don't think there's anyone we want to recruit. Yep, there's no one new. And... Our son is only 11. I've got to wait till they're 18. They only produce one kid. It's a little sad. Wish they produced more. Uh, but anyways, let's continue here. Alright, so Jiang Qing is actually attacking us. So now we actually have the option, but we don't have enough points on him. Uh, so we just weren't offered that before. So we don't extract. We have to fight him. We just got to make sure we don't kill him. He's only level 2. Alright, so they come after us. They have reinforcement. They have two stacks. We can withdraw, retreat make one of them not chase us and then only fight one of them and this way we'd also don't have to fight Jiang Qing's army all right 
Let's pull back. Alright, Shi Xie wants to invite Shi Yue Ying into a coalition. They don't want to accept. Don't draw separatists. I mean, we can vote yes, and then she will say no, and he will be happy with us. Alrighty. Duchy of Zhong. Kingdom of Liang. Uh, he forms a coalition with Gongsun Du. Interesting. Oh, he returned. He's low satisfaction to the point where he returned. That's fine. That's a good way to get him. Um, so he's a bandit character as well. Uh, he usually joins Sun Ce. He's one of the Wu officers historically. Uh, he did join Sun Ce. He just left. Interesting. So they do have armies coming at us. Just a silver weapon. Or armor. Imperial units. I mean, they are an uh, emperor faction. We can't reach. But there's no reason to stay on march either. Uh, they have an army here. Alright, we'll just try to get as close as we can. We'll stay... I think they got this. Uh, maybe they should need a little help. They have an interesting decision here. See, I don't think they can reach here once they take themselves off march. So I feel like I should just go for the copper mine. It's a free take. And then we can have a territory and then share the spoil on the other side of the copper mine. Now what level is it? It's level 3, so we're going to convert. If it was level 5, we would have kept it. This one's the income one. We're going to keep it because it's harbor. Ooh, double level up. Brother can pick up... Mm, not a great skill. Not a great skill. 7, 8, 9, 10. I think that was what we decided. Yeah. Go with the more traditional skills for stats. Now, I don't think he had... I mean, he can go for these. Increased speed on own retinue is pretty good. Consider he has a cavalry retinue. We're just going to pop them out. Right. They can't actually reach us. There's no road here. So... They can't actually hit anyone. So this army we can deal with later and we can have the territory to ourselves already. We have to wait here. Movement is difficult for us. Alright, what do we want on him? We'll probably go with a more traditional build. Just one new character. 50. Decent skills. Pretty eh, meh. Meh on the traits. By returning. Let's see, what can you do in an Obey's faction? Everyone's so happy with him. Except for him. Maybe he just needs to maintain loyalty, but he's already kind of low. Yeah, we can't do much. We'll just do this. And then try to... We can't pursue a military job? Oh, here it is. Let's see if that works out. He's coming back. I'm going to let him stack up some more points. Same thing here. Alrighty. Alright, the armies here moved. Lu Bu's retreat worked very well. That's why you don't keep them in garrisons after the fight. Um, or else you get attacked, you can't retreat. Alright, so now his army's gone. It's a 2v1, basically. 
Oh, they outrun. No, they can't outrun us. Good. All right, nice open field fight. We're fighting this. Trebuchet, mounted. Oh, they have a lot of good range units. Oh, two Jama Jian. It's a good army. Two Furies of Beihai, two Onyx Dragons, another Fury of Beihai, another Fury of Beihai. Oh, and a Trebuchet. I mean, straight up, Retinue versus Retinue, we lose, but we have Lü Bu, so we win. Alrighty, uh, we actually have deployables here, which is interesting. Um, I don't think it matters too much. I don't know if they have deployables or not, but let's just dump them here. Alright, we gotta be quite careful with how we approach this fight, because like I said, their retinue is much better than our retinue. So I'm inclined to just hide my retinues for the beginning. We might just show them a little bit here. Like, maybe put him here so they move forward. Uh, we'll have her stay with the main group here. Mm, do we bring the daughter? No, we're just going to solo with Lu Bu. Let's go. They got internal rivalry going on. That's sick. Sick strategy to give her extra damage. But too bad they didn't give her extra weapon. Doesn't want a duel. It's fine. We're looking for that trebuchet. They don't have many anti cavalry. They have three G militia, two Jama Jian. If we just avoid those, we should be okay. Because if we can't avoid those, we get dismounted. Alright, we're going to use the forest as our cover. And we're going to. Make a big loop because they probably have units in here too. Right. Where is that tribuchet? Still don't see it. We don't even see their generals. But they don't see me either. That's the key. Right, that's the Jamat yet. They're not facing us. I feel like if we get a nice charge on them and then smash ground, wipe out a very elite unit right away. Surprise! We can't use it? Ah, uh, they have the lock of- oh, we use it. Good. I was like, alright, we killed like uh, half of them, over half. We killed 56. Ah, uh, there they are. Now we disappear into the woodworks. We can fight this one without icons, actually. I can just recognize what units they are by what they look like. We can enjoy the solo show. See, they don't know where we are. Charge! Fury of Beihai, good luck. Alright, we break out. Get the cavalry to chase us a little bit. And then we fight them. Look at that. Running them down. Right, we do need to activate ability though. Uh, we can't. We're four seconds on cooldown. But we do want to use this still. We don't want to not use that. But then we'll go right back. Mm -hmm. I'm going to watch out for that. 
Uh, chase this way. Just, just chase into that. They, they probably, ooh, bumped into one. We're hurting them. Can we hit them instead of just hugging them? See, I like it when it's like this. They're clearly not hitting us back, and we're just clearly wiping them out. I don't know if they're actually shattered already, but I don't think so. They still have plenty of cavalry. They probably recover if we leave them alone. Oh, we killed the flag bearer. I think that's the first time we actually hit something rather than just charge. All right, we're going back. Oh, we're lost at where the enemy is. Hold on. We're actually lost. This is a very unique gaming experience. And I think this is a good opportunity to say that we're actually not going to play Banner Lord on the channel. Just I never played Banner Lord, um, Mountain and Blade, back in the day when it first came out. So this, you know, second one here, Banner Lord, doesn't really interest me that much. I understand you play kind of like this, where you control the person with, you know, an army too, and you actually get in full control of one unit, and it's, you know, very good premise. But we just have a lot going on too right now. Alright, where are their... They're facing the wrong way. Alright, real quick. Oh, we're not done cooldown yet. My bad. Go after these teal green. These are their theory of Beihai. No, we don't want to lose our mount randomly again. These are just random cross, heavy crossbowmen, I guess. Heavy repeating crossbowmen. All right, we're gonna go right up to here. Attack that, and then activate. Oh, we got. She's locking our ability, I believe. Yeah, back to five. So there's one strategist who has that ability, and we can't use our ability. That's fine. We'll work around that. It's a little extra challenge. Finding her on the battlefield is the other challenge. Oh, Jamatian, Jamatian, watch out. Ooh. Where did that sentinel come from? Jamajian's coming for us. Cut out. Alright, we'll chase off this group for a little bit. Ooh, let's be smart. Let's not. That's the general. Ah, oh, we missed. Get her. There we go. Wait, wait, wait. Why are we, why are we getting distracted? Jamajian's still here. Want her. Lost sight. We'll find her again. Cavalry's back. Now, we got to be able to use our ability. Yeah, there we go. Actually, keep moving, keep moving. They're moving out. Hold on. Let's basically find ourselves a good place. Like now. Oh, 
四散而逃，到底是无胆鼠辈。快跑！不要留情。Nice for them to camouflage themselves, you know. Nice teal, teal blue. Uh, this is a little taste of what it would be like if we play a Lu Bu campaign, which we will play because Lu Bu and Sun Ce are, are the two campaign that's pretty much the most fun in this DLC. I think they're done. What do you guys think? Who's next? Sentinel, come on! Look at that charging at us. Well, if you guys had horses, you guys would be able to catch us. So why are we running this way? There we go. You want to go? Oh, please hit her. There we go. Oh, she got help. They're probably definitely routing. But we just want to use the charge speed to pull some distance between us and Jai Ma Tian. Alright, we're going to wipe out the Tribuche and actually start sending our army over. Where is the Tribuche? <laughs> Okay, it's right here. They're rotating the formation again. Ah! You guys are in the wrong place. Ah, we're getting locked. Which one, which one are you? She's locking us. There we go. It's her. It's this one. I have no clue what our health is. I know we shouldn't charge them. Let's hurt, hurt them again. These are oh, these are crossbow cavalry. Okay, that's why they they have no fight in them. They're just running away, the best to their ability. Poor guy. Who's next? You? Nope. He he survived. Oh, he killed like three there. Okay. Time to kill these. Can't use it. It's her. Jamma Jan is protecting her really well. Somehow I think their army's... Is their army all dead? Oh, that's all they have? Uh, we got caught up. I thought they had a lot more. They only have one unit of Jamma Jian. Some crossbow archers. Some range units is just gonna die. These guys desperately trying to catch us. How much health do we have? Oh, near full health. That's ridiculous. Our tribuche is gone too. Do we even need to send the army? I think it's... Yeah, I don't think we need to send the army. They're about to rout. Let's just finish them off. 
Oh, we actually don't have much time left. Let's go. Oh no, this is forward. They attacked us. No. We attacked them. This is their second escape. There's no timing out on the second escape, that's right. It's her. She's the one locking our ability. But technically, we don't want to kill anyone. Oh, she has Unbreakable, so she has no choice. Alright, she's dead. Can we just kill her? Yeah, yeah, this is your chance. Hit her. Hit her. Ah, oh, got distracted. There we go, at least we hit her. Alright. Where do you think you're running? Just whack, just whack. We will just whack. No more dancing around. Ooh! Didn't kill her though, but that was a nice try. This is your target. There we go! Alright. Now we can use our abilities, right? Or is he locking our ability too? He's also locking our ability. Oh, he's fighting back. I like it. I like it. Oh, we're taking damage. We're actually going to take a lot of damage with the Jama Jian actually whacking at us. He's routing though. Did we win? We won. Wow. Okay. We don't need to chase because uh, it's a second escape, so they're going to be wiped. We only end up killing like 600 men. Right, he only kills 679. We captured her. We would love her retinue. She's air though. Yeah, we'll take him. We'll release, actually. It's not really a threat. Uh, we honestly don't need any of them because we just do this and there's nothing he can do. He's desperately pumping out armies. Yeah, he's left. Yeah, he will be able to take the livestock farm soon. We'll probably burn this down. And then we'll go for this. I don't want to do too many. Ooh, what is Sun Ce doing? He's at war with Gong Sun Du. Interesting. Interesting. I would love to get into a good relationship with him, but we can't. Um. What should we do? Ooh, we found the army. We actually found the army. Alright, we gotta get to them. There we go. Yeah, that's it. We're still burning Tang Wu over here. I don't see any rebellion yet. Oh, we sparked one. Okay, we're gonna pull them back now. Oh, it's too hard to see. So I guess our rebellion thing will end. We might actually need to start an army on this side to wipe them out after they wipe out Tang Wu. But that's what we want because we want to take control of Tang Wu. So we'll let them grow. It's very small though, but it's just a town. Maybe they can beat it. All right, um, that's all our army. We did. We didn't do any of the spy things yet. Uh, these three armies pretty much move as far as they can. Oh, well, we did the spy thing. All right, we're good to go. Let's continue. All right, Cao Cao has declared war on us. Interesting. Um, he is in a hard place for us to reach, but we'll see what happens. We're going to create a few more armies. And we don't need to ask for help. And Liu Bell is attacking our vassal. We're going to accept help defend him against Liu Bell. So we're going to spark into another war with Liu Bell now. And Yuan Shu is joining the fun. So it's basically everyone's declaring war on us. Fun times. Wang Lo 
is attacking our vassal. So Wang Long is going to be declaring war on us too. And our vassal is giving us a trade agreement. Giving us a food. We don't need your food. We don't need your food. We want to give you land in the future, but not right now. I don't even really want to give you, like, we can give you money. Here, take 5,000. Give yourself some good units. Alright. <laughs> the AI is so funny. Liu Xun. Alright, his army, uh, uh, Kingdom of Xun, not Liu Xun, Kingdom of Xun, uh, Zhu Gui, Mas Minister of Ceremonies. And Zhang Fu, who is Zhang Lu's son, Minister of the Guards, decided to take their army and the backup army, the two groups. This group is Zhang Lu, Celestial Master, who we kind of want. Uh, Yan Pu, Minister of Justice, Minister of Finance, Minister Herald. So five ministers surrounding our Poison Wally comp. They barely outnumber us in terms of troop count and they think they can wipe us out let's go all right first thing first we're gonna see where they're reinforcing from from behind us which is perfect uh, the tree is less optimal but we can make it work for us so they're gonna show up and they're gonna go to meet the main army most likely right uh, first we can put them in one group we can even put them kind of like this. We won't hit many, but we're unlikely to get discovered. We can ignore that group and kill this group first. All right, we can herd them. All right, he's invisible. He's invisible. So he can come from the side after they line up. She can hide in the forest. They can wait to catch whoever tried to escape. He's just bait, right? He's just visible bait. Let's go. Alright, so he's the visible bait. Alright, we're here to find an angle. All right, that's all the men you guys have. Ooh, they got more. They heard me. Now get here. They see him. God, our horse is slow. Uh, get closer. It doesn't matter if they see us at this point. Hold on, hold on, wait. Wait. We'll let the cavalry run through. He's still invisible. Oh, they, they found these group. Ah, oh, we, we need to help. The generals found our army. What the heck? Alright, we're showing up. He can beat them. No problem. Wait. Oh, cavalry. Gather up. You gonna use this on yourself for now? I don't really care about them generals fighting that group. She doesn't want to duel. Yeah, we're just gonna lose a few men. Not a big deal. Ooh, we don't want to lose her. Pull him out. We don't really want to fight. Be better if we pull away. It's hard for us to kill them. Right, let's fight here. We get another heal very soon. 
move her to the side. Tenacity of Steel, she should be okay. If we just stand and fight, we should win. Zhang Lu, Celestial Master himself. Right, we can heal soon. Switch back to poison. Is he unbreakable? He's not. So he's gonna route soon. We just need to, uh, we need to heal the whole group. Oh, Zhang Lu's gone. Pull away from that group. Alright, let's go. Get out. Well, they're all gone. Go help out against the generals. Uh, Cavalry's not done. They will be done, though. Really want to go shoot those guys. But the cavalry is really not letting us. Yeah, our, our archers are all getting picked off too. Oh well. Here, here, here. Before they get into the forest. Yeah, just the infantry. These are what? Protector of Heavens? Impressive. It's a small group, but still worth shooting at. Alright, we're out. We need to come back. Yeah, absolutely no micering whatsoever of that group. I'll go kill them. One volley and they're dead. Yeah, we got two volleys left. Alright, kill off the range units. Yeah, spear guard's a little tough to kill. Alright, stay on that. Mm, she's not doing so hot. Get her over here. Turn white, please. There we go. Don't worry, we got this. We did take heavy losses, though, but... Okay, and then now it's, now it's the general's time to shoot. Alright, these guys are done. Oh, we got siege weapons. 
Forgot about those. Oh, they got Protector of Heavens as well. We're out of ammo, but we're also invisible, so if they want to show up, they can show up. We got one more volley left to kill the Protector of Heavens. We'll let them all line up together. Come on, kill them. Can we chase? Oh, that's it? Can we kill them, please? I'm gonna kill all these units real quick, real quick. Yeah, it was not a bad fight, but it was more difficult than I thought. There we go. I mean, we had one poison volley to spare on each of our generals, so. If we just hit our bandit car uh, bandit unit a little bit better and didn't let the general run to them, we would have done better. Yempu. Hmm. I like his units, but we're not gonna release him for them. Uh, Celestial Master. We'll take his son. His units is more manageable. We're gonna release him. Alrighty. So now we have the world at war with us. They finally realize that the bandit is a threat to the entire realm and instantly we're at war with pretty much the whole map <laughs> Sun Tzu hasn't joined which I'm very happy about um, but we boost drop got more difficult too but it's about the same you know it's a one-man show uh, Ma Teng didn't well Ma Chao didn't join in which is, I'm also a little shocked uh, but first things first, uh, they can wander around, taking up an army slot for them. We'll take what we came here for, land. Yeah, I'm probably just going to go research. Wipe him out. Maybe we'll capture John Wu on this fight. Oh no, he's still not recouped yet. Alright, we'll be healing quite fast. Nobel and us are at war. They're going after our vassal. Means we can't go north anymore. We actually have to turn around. That's fine. Also just means we have to recruit more armies. Let's see. We were chasing yellow turbans. Now we don't really care if the contract ends or not. Because we don't really have many contract partners left. We're going to kick Liu Bao out of the south. We're going to march close to the fishing port. We should have switched stance, but this is okay. Gunning's over there. Alright, we don't have anyone looking at them. We're going to fill out a roster quickly. They've been waiting for this moment for a while. He can just run, so we'll take the city. He's abandoned it. Oh, we got a siege. No siege weapon rule. Can we relax that rule? It's just painful at this point. We're not going to abuse it. Alright, we're going to send them over here. Hmm. Like, these are just going to be delegate armies in the south. Right, straight up delegate fights on these. Take Chen Gong with you. 
蝼蚁克刚。Take her. 我已准备好作战了。I mean, there's like nothing else that's really worth recruiting at this point. Like, are they expensive? No. Oh, this will heal up. There's no rush to rush in. He has another army here, but I don't think he's that threatening. They wiped out. Ah, uh, they wiped them out. We just try again, you know. Yeah, I think three army here is okay. They might not be able to hold against Jilin, Gongdu, and Huangzhong. Yeah, they're not gonna hold. Uh, we reach max. No, we're not max army yet. So we could recruit here. Yuan Tan player needs to come out. We reach max. Oh, that's gonna be hurting us for a little bit. Okay, we're scrambling right now, but we should be okay. Li Bu's army. We can't reach them. Oh, well, next turn we'll get him. We want the seasonal deployment ones. We need those now. They give the same bonus. Two turns, two turns. Okay, it doesn't matter then. All right. We could also join armies and then recruit. But then it will reduce our income farther. But at this point, I don't really care about income. Because right, our problem right now is we can't hire new ones. Alright. Sure, these two armies should be good enough to sweep through all of Wang Long's territory in the south, along with this one and this one. Four armies to clean up the south. Well, five armies. And then we'll move on from there. This is the High Empire. Diplomacy wise, they're ready to peace out. I understand, and I actually wouldn't mind a piece. 3.0. Can we buy your lumber yard? Oh, we have a gold one. Waking dragon. Here, we'll give you a silver one. This one. And then offer you like one food. Ah, right here. There, uh, there we go. Alright, so that's done. So now we can turn all our armies this way to clean up clean up the south first, right? He can have this. This is a city. We don't really care. Um, 
All right, we're going to clean up all the red patches down south. Maybe we'll make a mess in the north. And then we'll continue pushing. Now, Cao Cao has declared war against us, so we might lose this, but that's fine. Hmm. Can't peace out with yellow turbans. Can I buy a territory from you as well? Let's see, what do we want to buy? I would like to take that farmland, honestly. Super expensive. Any chance? <laughs> Not really. We'll just take it. We'll give him some goodwill. Oh, that was perfect. All right, we got so much cash stockpile, we might as well use it. All right, Liu Bei, Kongrong's at war, with, alliance war with us. Not alliance war, but at war with us. Maybe alliance war. Yeah, alliance war. Our vassal, our vassal. This one might die. Coalition of Unity. So they declare war on us, basically. Divine Empire. They are surprisingly okay with us. We're also trade partners. No alliance. We got a nice treaty with them. We peaced out with them. Okay. All right. We're doing fine. Um, it's one of the... Okay, it's the Nanhai. Strategist. There we go. We got a bunch of items. Um, but the thing is... Most of our generals are unique. Except for her. Wow, you're getting a gold deck out right away. We don't have those items, so she can take it. It's fine. She has a nice enough army. She didn't deserve a nice enough item. There we go. Stock and guerrilla deployment on her units. Basically bandit unit at this point. Yeah, we don't have any strategies on the field because we're not abusing um, tribuches. We're not even using tribuches. So. All right, I think we moved all our army best we can. Check spy real quick. He's still not back. Hmm. What can we do with him? Yeah, there's nothing we can really do with him. Guess keep pursuing a position. This is slightly more interesting. Oh, I think Ling Tong is gone. We convinced him to leave. We're actually trade partners, so. Now we're at war. Give me into the military. He actually doesn't have a big roster now. Liu Yao joined him. We'll make him reconsider his decision. Alright. Let's go next turn. All right, he's asking someone else who's not willing to join to join us. We'll say yes, but they will say no. And the faction Zhang Yan is destroyed. Gongsun Zan's doing. 
our wonderful vassal in the north has done it. So now we can give him a new target. Uh, but we're going to end our episode here. Um, things are looking a lot more challenging. Uh, but as you can see, we can dump units out very quickly. And uh, we're going to take a temporary economic hit to you know, field a lot of armies to chase everyone who's in the south out. And then we'll just push north. Uh, we need to get this capital eventually, but for the next 10 turns maybe, it's beat down everyone to make sure they submit to us. And then we'll resume our path to take the emperor seats. Uh, they're not too far away. Jincheng is very easy to take. If he was farther north, like here, it would have been very difficult. But if we can get to Hanzhong, Jincheng is very close after that. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode and see you all next time. Bye!